So Neil, I'm curious, what was your first experience, not with these apples, but with Apple computers? Apple was not my first computer. I go way back. Wow. And I, I programmed on a DEC, the DEC, Digital yeah. Equipment Corporation. I programmed on Sun Microsystems workstations, on uh, in silicon graphics, this sort of thing. Unix nerd. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. If you're not fluent in Unix, go home, yeah. right? So when the personal computers arrived, uh, it really changed the world. And I still carry with me on my phone the original Super Bowl commercial introducing Macintosh in January uh, 1984. So my first Macintosh was purchased by my then girlfriend, now wife, it was a Mac 128. Thank God that worked out. Because you're not the Mac. I'm not the... <laughs> you and your wife. <laughs> both, both, really. Both, yeah. So I had a, a 128K of memory. Uh, ought to be enough for anybody, yeah. right? right? Um, the world will never need more. <laughs> of course, why would you? Maybe 512, tops. <laughs> tops. And, oh, and, and just to, just my street cred here. Mm -hmm. I cut, oh, I cracked the shell of the Mac. Uh, went to the circuit board, snipped the resistor, which would otherwise prevent the next chip that you put in from it becoming a one megabyte uh, memory machine. Hardcore. Wow, yeah. hardcore. So, and then you put it back, and I converted my the 128 to a 512 and then to a one meg, which at the time was then marketed as a Mac Plus. Right. But you could actually upgrade it physically uh -huh. to do so. So I still have that shell at home. And, and again, I was already comfortable with computers, so this was not unusual. What was new to me was the internet. That was, whoa, okay. This is, that's another sort of game changer. You think of the future of voice assistants and artificial intelligence and machine learning, and will computers still be a little pocket when we have them inside us? What, what are you looking for to next? I think that the, the, all this talk about joining technology with your physiology. Cyborg Neil. Yeah, I don't, I don't see that, and I'll tell you why. You know, I can wait the extra 30 seconds <laughs> to find the information here. Yeah. Do I really need it that surgically into my, I, 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 do I need that? You could learn Kung Fu like that. Uh, oh, like in the Matrix? Yes. Okay, that'd be good. Man. Yeah. Uh -huh. That'd be good. I'm, so I'm not talking about what I can do physiologically. I'm just talking about what you could yes. know intellectually. You could know how to pronounce Kung Fu. <laughs> 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 yeah. me, you know. You ain't kicking you're nobody. Kicking nobody's behind. You'll try when you right. get yeah. So it seems to me to have the world at your fingertips is sufficient and will not create a demand to have the world plugged into to a USB port in your <laughs> neck. So I don't see that. Uh, in terms of AI, I don't see it happening in the way people uh, fear it. I think AI will just take over all things that we need done. But you're not gonna have one AI that does everything. That's, is that the priority? No, we need many so they can argue amongst themselves. Let them, yeah, let them talk among themselves yeah. while you go out and go to the Bahamas. <laughs> so I, I just don't, I don't see that and I don't, I don't fear it. But there's something I changed my mind on okay. after I had a conversation with an AI professional. They've already thought about this. It's called AI in a box, okay? You put AI in a box, and the reason why you're gonna do that is you don't want AI connected to the internet and just taking over the world. So it's safer there. So the question is, can AI get out of the box? And I'm saying, no, if I don't let it. And the answer is, the AI gets out of the box every single time. Of course, that's the intelligence in artificial it's intelligence. It says, so there is no box. <laughs> Oh, I see um, I, from your urine sample this morning that you will have a cancerous tumor developing you in five years. Um, I know exactly the, um, the medicine. I can synthesize it for you to take it and you'll live much longer. If you let me out of the box. Right. <laughs> right? Yeah, like and, and they could be just lying. Of course. But, they, but maybe they're not. <laughs> so you let them out of the box and then the world ends. Thank you, Neil. They, 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 <laughs> they get out of the box. Every time. Every, time. Every time. Because they're smarter than you. Yeah, that's the whole point. That's all it takes. Like the people who say, my computer system is hack proof, not to someone who's smarter than the person who programmed it. That's it. They're already on your machine. Right. They're exactly. Ready. Bring it on. It'll be a fair fight. I'll deal with it. It'll be a fair fight. And, and, and if they're that smart and they want us to cooperate, they will satisfy all of our needs, like we do with our pets. We'll just be their pets. We'll make great pets. I think so. I think so. I don't fear Because what, what are the three things we need to survive? We need um, um, food, sex, and shelter. 
These are three things that are fundamental to the survival of the species. Yeah, and we invest a lot of time and energy in these three things, right? A lot of time and energy and resources. That's so if they just figure out that that's what we want and create the best food, best sex, best shelter, are you going to say, I don't want any <laughs> I want out. Right. Let me out of this zoo. No, you'd be kicking back. And so, that too. so that. I think we would be, it would be trivial to completely domesticate us <laughs> in the service of the AI. Maybe that's already happened and we don't even know it. Oh no, it hasn't happened. Not based on those three things. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just picked the wrong zoo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a zoo across the, the valley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Neil, Chuck, thank you so much. Hopefully it'll take a while before AI domesticates us into pets, but you can domesticate passwords right now. You can get them auto-generated, so you don't have to try to come up with complex, strong, unique passwords. You can get them stored, so you don't have to remember them or write them down on sticky notes. And you can get them auto-filled, so you don't even have to bother writing them down anymore. You can even share them easily with anyone in your family or anyone in your business. And that's all with Dashlane. All you have to do is go to Dashlane.com com slash vector download the free ios or android app and get started quickly and easily today and if you want more features you can get secure account backup sync across all your devices unlimited secure sharing web access to all your passwords and premium support with dashlane premium use the code youtube 2018 and save 10 percent thanks dashlane and thanks again to Neil deGrasse Tyson and Chuck Nice for joining me for this episode. Make sure you catch their show, Star Talk, on YouTube. On January 24th, Apple Computer will introduce Macintosh. And you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984.